Good morning. Study abroad is like finally officially coming to an end. So weird. Today is Friday. I've spent the last three, four days locking myself in my room, working on these animations for Santi's final in New York. And yesterday, I kid you not, like the other days, I was taking breaks and I would like break up the day by going on little walks or calling people. But yesterday, I locked in, literally rolled out of bed, sat down at my desk before 8 a.m. and did not leave the building building until 5 30 p.m i sat here all day and work but i finished the rough draft and i sent it to him yesterday so right now i don't have to sit at my desk vlog some of my last days in australia i'll have been here for five months i got to australia in like the middle of july and i just have not been back to the states since so that's the longest i've been away also the longest i've been without seeing my family too definitely been an interesting experience so i'll have to do like a whole debrief thing when i'm back later in the year since i am not working right Right now i'm gonna get ready and then emma and i are gonna try and take headshots for each other for our linkedin because we both need headshots so badly so hopefully we can do this and then who knows what we'll do there's like nobody left here all of the nyu people have pretty much gone back i think there's only one or two other people besides emma and i now and all the usaid students have gone home because finals are done so it's just so quiet around here it's so weird but we might go out tonight come join me for some of my last days in sydney i'm gonna do my makeup now see you in a second We did take headshots up on the terrace, but it was a little bit of a flop because it was so hot that we were sweating so bad as soon as we went up there. After taking photos, we changed and then went to Courtyard Cafe to get our iso lattes because we love them so much. And I did some editing. Today has been kind of uneventful, but I am about to go out for a drink. So let me show you the outfit really quick. And then I need to go. <laughs> this is the outfit tonight. My room is a little bit of a mess. I have my little purse, the Doc Martens, this is the fit, the going outfit. But yeah, these past couple days have been kind of slow just because it's just like work stuff and nobody is in Darlington anymore. So this is kind of like what every day has been looking like. Made it to Friday night. The bus ride took so long. We went to Tamarama first and then walked from there. We went to about three different bars. I forgot to get videos, but I did do like a TikTok day in the life. So if you want to see TikTok photos of the different bars, then that's where it is. And then I came back and went to bed around 3 a.m. <laughs> Ended up going a little crazier than I thought the night before. So I slept in and had an easy morning. When I woke up, I just worked on editing my New Zealand vlog because that one was so long and just kind of chilled because it was a nice little, it was a nice little cloudy day. It was supposed to be a beach day. The clouds decided to show face. So I think we're gonna do the beach tomorrow. <laughs> Not gonna lie, I woke up this morning feeling a little rough. <laughs> I've just been editing all morning. I'm gonna try and finish the New Zealand vlog today emma and i are about to go to the glee markets not to shop because we do not need any more clothes but last weekend we went because at the beginning of the semester one of like the only times we were there there was this vendor and i got meatballs and they serve it over like garlic bread or nachos and it was so good we went back last weekend because emma wanted to try them and they were sold out of the meatballs so we're gonna go again today and hope that they're not gone yet although it's kind of late like we're kind of going around the same time so if they are, I won't be too surprised. I feel like I should start packing. I have to pack for cans, but then I also have to like pack, pack, get ready to go back to the States. So I'm like, maybe I should do that today. I will say getting dressed, I feel a little bit nauseous again will persevere. Last night was really fun. We had such a random weird night. We ended up going to three different bars in Bondi and they were all pretty busy actually because I feel like Newtown and King Street area, the nightlife can be kind of dead. No matter what, it's gonna be a hard transition coming from New York nightlife anywhere else pretty much. The last bar I was talking and then I think my, like my ring hooked onto my earring and ripped it out of my ear. And I came back, we came back at like 3 a.m. this morning and I took my earring out and there was dry blood on my earring. So I probably shouldn't be wearing earrings right now. Like it definitely hurts a little bit, but I do it to myself. This is what we're wearing. I'm probably gonna sweat wearing jeans, but let's hope they have not run out of meatballs yet. <laughs> Such a specific niche craving. Anyways. Okay. 
We made it to Glee Markets and it was packed today for some reason. Honestly, if I was buying clothes today, the stands were so good. It wasn't even that the meatballs were sold out. The whole stand was just completely gone for the first time ever, which was so, we were so bummed. So we ended up going to Surrey Hills instead and we got these burritos. But guys, for the first time in my entire life, a Mexican place made you pay extra for cheese, which I didn't think about. I obviously didn't ask for cheese because I assumed it came on. So it just tasted like I was eating a wrap and it was so, so disappointing. Then by the time we got back, I kind of just probably laid on my floor and then went down for dinner and there was a huge thunderstorm that night. After yesterday's meatball fail, Sunday pulled through because it was a cloudless sky. So woke up and got dressed for the beach. And then Emma and I went down to Broadway. You can see how dead it was on campus. There's not a single person here. Granted, it is Sunday, so that helps too. We went to Poles and we got some fruit for the beach. I saw these really funny Australian postcards, so I picked up a few and I mailed them off to my family. There was a big market going on, but we got some good spots, ate our fruit, tanned, and swam a lot, which was so much fun. And then we came back, showered, and did some makeup, walked around, and then it started raining again. <laughs> this was from another TikTok I made. It wasn't supposed to rain today, but now it's randomly raining. So I am going to Cannes tomorrow. And then I only have like, I, I think today was actually my last full day in Sydney because then I come back Wednesday morning from Cannes and then I leave Thursday night. So I'm not like, I don't eat real groceries. So I'm just gonna go buy fishbowl for dinner. So let's go walk to get fish pulled together in the rain. Oh wait, is it just stop raining? Do I not need a jacket? Maybe I'll just wear it. This is my, I actually like went the whole semester, forgot to bring an umbrella. And so this is my only jacket. It's not a hoodie with a hood too. So this is my, this has been my DIY umbrella. Do what you have to do. But beach day was so lit. Actually, it was kind of crazy. The UV was at 11 today. Like how Ken's job is just beach. That was literally like Emma and I's job is just beach. That's what I was born to do. Maybe it stopped. Maybe it stopped raining. It was in fact raining when I went to get my fishbowl, but look how good it was. Luckily, the storm didn't get really bad until after I'd gotten inside and they were doing gingerbread decorating around us, which was so cute, but also a moment for Emma's ring tan lines, insane. Okay, here is the deal. Here's the problem. Maybe I should take these off and just be blind. I actually only wear this to do homework. It is 8.40 p.m. Um, I have to leave at like 4.20 a.m. <laughs> for the airport. I need to pack for cans, start packing my room, like my whole room and also send Santi very last minute paintings so basically it just doesn't sound like I'm sleeping tonight we're gonna throw on music and be delusional because <laughs> girl I don't know I don't know how we're gonna get this done okay I packed for cans it actually only took me like five seconds but I'm so tired and I need to start doing these paintings I'm literally gonna cry so this may be an all-nighter but I don't feel like I have the energy to keep vlogging. It's just like another extra thing to do. Instead, I will see you guys in cans. Thanks so much for watching. <laughs> Wish me luck. Bye.